Hi viewers, today we are going to see about file and its handling in python. So what is a file and why we require a file? So everything in this world related to computer is a file. If you take uh, OS, it's a combination of files. If you take any data, it's a collection of data into a file. So we need to handle files in any known language. So in Python, we have files concept which is used to uh, handle the files. So in file handling, first we will have three kind of modes and two functions basic. One is open and another one is close. So in order to write or append or read a data in a file we need to open it first so the syntax is like any variable name or identifier file uh, this is will be the file header this will be called as file header equals to open of the file path absolute path need to be given absolute path need to be given so you need to make sure that according to the system that means according to the uh, windows server windows or linux you need to give the absolute path correctly to the file opening handler so here i have opened this file fi uh, file underscore test dot txt with right mode what will happen then a file if it is not there file underscore test dot txt it will create it it will create it exclusively if the file exists then it will open the file and it will start writing so any data previously is there in that file that will be erased that will be erased and a new data whatever you are writing it will be presented in that file so file underscore test dot txt file it will be written high class whatever may be the previous data it will be erased then you will close it so you must remember another point that if you are doing any file handling you must open the file first then read uh, read the file uh, read or write any operation then you need to close to and uh, again you want to do another mode of operation so what are the mode of operations which we have write mode read mode append mode exclusive uh, binary mode okay so write mode is used to write the content into the file that means it will erase the previous data and uh, create a new data which you are writing into it whereas a read mode will read entire file so in read mode we have two two kinds of read operations so read off read line off so read off and read line off so what will happen read line read line will read one one line read off will con uh, read entire line so when you do the read line operation it will go and read the entire line and the cursor will be pointing here when you do a uh, read line next this pointer will be starting reading the next line so you must carefully observe which which uh, read operation you are using for read reading in the uh, file reading a file so it, both can be used in write uh, read mode only so both can be called in read mode only next append mode so if already some data is there in your file and you want to add much another data or another data you want to add to the existing file what mode you have to open is append so what it is so appending the data to the existing file can be achieved so this is a appending mode will be a so there is another mode binary mode b binary mode so when we uh, when we do a write read operation or something else we need to make specific to the file system that we are using on the current system so in current machine if it is a windows machine then we need to follow u8 ut8f file system or in linux file system we need to use dos file system so whatever the file system based on that we need to use uh, specific read write more operations but if you want to do commonly you can use write plus binary read plus binary which means irrespective of the file system the files will be written in binary mode will be written in binary mode so uh, this is about the files but you have some more operations as we discussed already earlier like in the starting of the files that every file is important as a OS is combination of file so what we did is like 
For handling these files, we have certain functions which are under OS module. So you can do some OS module operations by importing the OS. Import OS. So under OS, we have certain uh, methods like OS dot path of. We'll give you the absolute path of the file, given file. So here I'm giving a file. So I will get the output as absolute path of the file. Then ch more. So for files, we can set the permissions. We can set the permissions. See here, I have certain permissions written here. So it is for user, user group others. So U G O. So users group others so when we give 777 it will be the full permissions 400 that means I am giving only binary equivalent of 4 is 100 that means I am giving only read permission whereas write and execution permits, I, permission I am not giving coming to what is the 2 equivalent of binary it will be 010 so I am giving only write permissions and I am not giving the read permission and execution permission what is 1 so I am giving only execution permission read permission and write permissions are not given so we can set the permissions set the permissions to a files so for that we need to use os.ch mod file and the permission we need to give os.rename so if you want to give a re or rename some file you can give the file name here and the new name here so by this we have some additional functions also which you can go through in os.file mod methods okay so this is about the file file handle file modes this is about the file handlings which you can give and these are the permissions which you can give on to the file uh, file which you have created so make sure that you use the files effectively yeah. for more queries and uh, details reach me over visiontechnologies.com or reach me over online through gangboard.com thank you yeah.